just in Japan. Hello, all you wonderful people, and greetings from the Torimai Station in the foothills of Ikoma Mountain in Higashi, Osaka. There is a crazy cable car here that brings you up to the top of the mountain where there's a little theme park up there. Let's go check it out. To get to the top, it's about $3.60. And you can take that crazy cable car to get up there. This cable car line has been here for a hundred years. And to go up to the park though, you can get in this really cute looking cat car or dog car, depending on which one is here at the time. I just want to throw it out there that this is not normal transportation in Japan. This is this is special. But this is as close as you can get right now to getting on a cat bus like in My Neighbor Totoro. The seats on these cars are themed to the dog and the cat. strangest experiences I've ever had in my entire life. And then you get to transfer into a cake car. This is crazy. I think the car is a cake because it's a hundred years old. Not the car itself, but the track. After being delivered on a literal cake to the top of the mountain, we are at the destination, which is Skyland, which is a little tiny amusement park on top of a mountain. <laughs> I have to say, that was really bizarre. Like, there is no other place in Japan that you will see like a random dog and cat car bringing you up a mountain. Definitely unique. This is one of those pay-as-you-go parks, which means you can get them for free, but you have to pay for everything that you want to do. Whoa, this is here? Many moons ago, I went to the International Association of Beauty Parks and Attractions and they were showing this roller coaster off. I can't believe it made it all the way up to Japan. That's crazy. There's a rabbit in here, but it's made of a bush. But they're saying because it's so cold, the rabbit's sleeping. 
<laughs> so you just have to imagine there's a rabbit in there. There's another thing I saw on the app, but you have to press all these buttons on the wall and try to beat the person next to you. Yeah, they got a little 4D theater up here, this is nice. Wow, that is the smallest pirate ship ride I've ever seen in my entire life. You get one of those rides that you can pedal and do your own speed pretty much. And they put you right over the side of the mountain. That's, that's pretty cool. Try to attraction, a go kart challenge track on the side of a hill. That's pretty cool. One thing that kind of sucks about this is this is a seasonal park. It is up in the mountains, and today is the second to last day of the season. It closes until March. So I'm lucky that I just kind of made it up here and then found out, hey. I'm on the second to last day that this is open for this year. So, good timing. Um, there's something called the Ecoma White House, which looks nothing like the American White House, but you know, let bygones be bygones, right? It says that it's high tech and if you go in, you'll be scared, but let me tell you what, with that flag right there, I don't know. I've never seen that before. They got this little train here from the jerk. All you need is Steve Martin chasing after this bad boy with a kid that's got an inappropriate word on his shirt and bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. You could remake that movie right here. Oh boy. <laughs> They've got a Godzilla little merry-go-round with Mothra flying above. Godzilla right here, uh, Larval, Mothra right there, and then King Ghidorah just hanging out here. That's cool! This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be a small, little, tiny, nothing. But it's, it's a lot bigger than I thought. They've even got a water ride that no one's going to go on right now because it's freezing cold. Looks like it's seen better days. Now none of these attractions really particularly interest me. However, there's one thing at this park that I saw that I definitely want to try. They have a haunted house here, which is my bread and freaking butter. It's 500 yen and I think I'm going to do it. I was so down until I saw that little sign right there and I'm thinking meh maybe I'll pass a Dino on this because as cool as it looks I, I think I think I'll pass so there's a sign that says three year olds are okay as long as one person goes in but zero or two year olds don't bring them in so <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that scary and the gentleman running it just closed it down so I don't think I'll be going in today this is a nice little park and coming up on the cable car was pretty cool too. However, going down, I really want to just kind of walk down the mountain. Unfortunately, I came on the last hour of today's operation, so they're kicking everybody out right now anyway. And apparently in the middle of this mountain, there is a beautiful temple that's been here for hundreds of years. So I'm going to go check that out too. Thankfully, there's a nice paved way to go straight down. Yeah, it's very obvious to tell where the cable car is and how to get to where we need to go because it's in English. Oh my God, usually that isn't there at all. The only problem with being up here is I'm worried that the sun will set and then I'll be stuck up here and left to the animals. Oh, have to walk slowly, but you know, slow and steady wins the race. And by seemingly luck, the path passes right next to the temple. And someone really likes radishes. Like, wow, that's an unhealthy obsession. No 
This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the Temple of Hosanji. You think of places shrouded in mystery? This would definitely be one of those places that you might like bring up in your mind. Uh, even in the mountains, they've got what I assume is a Buddha sitting there overlooking the entire temple. This is that beautiful pagoda that's there when you walk in and look up and then looking down. It's amazing. This temple ground is incredible. It's almost serene. And definitely only something that you can see and do out here in Japan. And if you ever want to come out here, all you have to do is go on the Kintetsu line and just get off at Ikoma Station. Just follow it all the way up to the cable car, go up to the top, unless it's between December and March. And then you too could experience what I just did today. But as, as I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. Stay groovy and have a wonderful day.